Hi guys, welcome to Alpha Physio Pelvic Care. And today I would like to show you some exercises, some stretches for the pelvic floor that I use also quite a lot with my patients using this special equipment that is called mini peanut ball. You might have heard about the big peanut ball. We've seen exercise with it. But this mini peanut ball, well, to be honest, I got it from a local shop here in Cyprus where I practice, where I reside. It's called Jumbo, not an advertising content, okay? So it's called Lib Up Sports in case you want to have a look online or maybe you just can have a look online in generally for mini peanut ball. The reason why I use this specific ball that it can give you a great release, mobility and partial work without the pressure that can be exhibited by a roll or by a trigger point ball. So some people are very sensitive to the pressure and they don't want a lot of that pressure happening. And in this sense, peanut ball is perfect. So let me show you the, the exercises, the stretches. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to Not All Things Pelvic Health. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments, let me know, try the stretches. And uh, maybe if you want to share the condition that it helps you with. Uh, of course, a small warning before, if you're not sure, always consult with your doctor. And if you are in um, a acute inflammatory stage of anything, uh, it's better not to do these things. And if you suspect you're pregnant, uh, I um, advise not to do this on abdominal release. This release can uh, be used for various conditions. It can be used for pelvic pain of any origin, it can be used for pelvic stiffness, tightness, and good news, it can be used by anyone. Any gender, any status, you're a guy, you're pregnant, you had hysterectomy, you have prostate removed, you had like any kind of operations done. Most of these exercises can be used with a peanut ball if you're out of acute inflammatory stage. So let's begin. First of all, I'm going to sit on it and with each bumpy bit, I will sit on with my one, let's say, bottom cheek. So basically my coccyx falls in between the bumpy bits. I support myself with the hands. I'm keeping my legs nice and parallel. And I'm just going to breathe and roll. That's it. Easy. I'm going up to the base of my spine when my spine begins. And then I'm rolling down into my sitting bones. Breathing in and breathing out. It's kind of great self-massage without a pressure and compression of hard surface that might be done by raw. Some people, they do like to have a bit harder pressure, but this is very, very gentle. I do this technique also with pregnant women. There is no compromisation of abdominal going here. Nice and gentle. All right. If you want to get a little bit more into the hips, a little bit more into the front area of your pelvic floor, kind of perineal area, vaginal area, or scrotum area, if you're a guy, you can sit now. I'm sitting with my sitting bones on the bumpy bits on the each side of the peanut ball. If you have enough range, place your hands inside your knees. If not, just hold them here by your side and roll forward and back. So here I'm already rolling forward towards the vulva, rolling up and down and again nice deep breath. Here we're just relaxing, feeling the release. You can even roll side to side from one bumpy bit to another. The versatile properties of a mini uh, peanut ball. And you can do this technique for about one, two minutes as soon as you feel there has been nice release going on. Now, the third technique is the release of lower abdominals and iliosaurus, the muscles that run inside of the pelvis. This is a great release. I have used it with people with endometriosis. I have used it with people of all genders with um, any pelvic pain. I have used it uh, with people after cesarean section, three months plus. After everything is nice and healed, I have uh, shown it to people who had painful periods, so variety, variety of conditions out of um, acute stage. If you're pregnant, you suspect you're pregnant, you're not doing this. Okay, so you lay down, 
and place it at the bottom of your belly, just above your pubic bone. So each bumpy bit is on the inner, on each side of the pelvic bone. And here you can do three things. You can just rest and breathe. You can move side to side, so you get a little bit more pressure on the right side, a little bit more pressure on the left side. So moving side to side. Okay. Or you can even roll up and down. I would suggest not to roll higher than your belly button because we're starting to compress organs, we're starting to compress um, blood vessels. So don't roll above your belly button. So we're staying kind of in that bottom part of the abs where there is a lot of abdominals to protect our organs as well. Okay. All right, and you can always get your knees bent so there is less pressure. So you kind of um, experiment really, okay? As soon as you feel comfortable. And again, couple of minutes. And another one, great one, which I like. Many people like to do it with a roll great alternative if you're not fan of a lot of pressure or if somebody has really tight inner thighs you can use either the the dip or the bumpy bit of the peanut ball i like the bumpy one so placing in the inner thigh opening your hip i'm laying down here and i'm just rolling in and out in and out all the way into the insertion of my adductors inner thigh muscles towards the pubic bone Great technique, especially if you can't tolerate that pressure of the roll. And of course, don't forget to do it on the other side. So guys, let me know if you would like me to make more videos with the peanut ball. There's many things we can do with our neck and back, like breastfeeding moms, bottle feeding moms, generally caring, carrying the baby, tension in the neck. There are many things that can be done with this lovely thing and it, it doesn't cost a lot very cost efficient thing let me know if you did try the stretches how did they help you i would really appreciate your comment i really appreciate your share share with a friend who you know might be benefiting from it and we will see you next time bye